Hey everybody, I'm here to introduce templates for structures. Templates for structures are similar to templates for enumerations because the template is based on the data, not the function we are writing. I have a previous video on structures if you need to review what a structure is and how it is defined. Structures have accessor functions. So in order to get all of the data out of our structures and have an inventory of what we have to work with, we have to use these accessor functions in our template. Then, when we write our functions based on the template, we will know all the information we have and thus can use what we need for the specific function. Let's start with an example. Let's say we have a pet structure that has a string describing what pet it is, a number representing its age, and a boolean that describes whether or not it is an indoor pet. Since the template for structures is based on the data, not a function we are writing, we can write the template without a specific function in mind. As always, we start with the signature, which has no specific output. Then, we use the accessor functions of the structure to access all the data from the structure. We fill in the rest with dots. And that's it. Now, when writing a function that takes a pet as input, we can easily copy and paste this template and use the data we need from any pet. For example, let's write a function using the template that determines if a pet is a cat. We copy and paste the template and change the name of the function to the one we are writing. Then, we realize that we do not need the pet's age or whether or not it is indoors. All we need is to compare whether or not the species is the string cat. We compare the species using string equal huh to the string cat and our tests pass. Since structures can hold any type of data, they can sometimes hold other structures or enumeration data within them. In this case, we need to call another template to process the more complex data we get from the accessor functions. For example, Let's say we have an IU student structure that has a name for identification and a student enumeration that describes what year the IU student structure is. A student enumeration was defined in a previous video. We can define this template as before using the accessor functions to access the data from the structure. However, the IU student year accessor returns one of four possible strings since a student is defined to be one of four possible strings. We defined a template for a student enumeration shown here in a previous video. We need to use this student enumeration template in order to process the student in the IU student structure accordingly. Thus, our final template looks like this. Whenever a structure definition holds another structure, enumeration, or other complex data structure within it, it is recommended to have a separate template for this data in order to process the structure accordingly. As with this example and the previous one, atomic data like any strings or numbers do not need a separate template. I hope this video over structure templates helped, and until next time,